welcome back to my closet clean out where I'm trying to go through every single piece of clothing I own. Socks, <laughs> before we start. We're bringing in the big, big mirror. I've already gone through this since we just moved recently, but like having to face everything again is not fun. Moving is always a reminder that I own clearly way too much stuff. And I was just looking in my closet, as I mentioned in the last episode where I go through all my pants and jeans. This episode I wanted to focus on my shirts, tops, jackets, whatever. And I was looking at these and I was like, yeah, no, these are like my usuals. And I was like, I got a couple jackets in there, that's it. As you can see, the disaster of this room. I have a couple of these bins that we used during the move and I used them primarily for my least worn clothing or like my winter clothes they were all pretty much packed into these bins and I opened up that bin which is everything on the floor there and I realized I still have quite a few tops that are questionable and I should definitely go through those I also sadly came to find that I do in fact own more jeans are you joking me also ignore my first aid kit and fire starting materials. My parents like to send us survival goodies. So I should put those somewhere more useful. Also, I don't mind all this stuff being on the floor because now that it's been stored in a bin for a couple of months, all of this needs to be washed before I do anything to it anywhere. So, okay, let's start with uh, the pants that I forgot about. By the way, it's already like 9 p.m. <laughs> I meant to do this earlier today, but my dog got stung by a bee on our walk this morning. And then all day I was like monitoring his symptoms to make sure he was okay, trying to um, put some like baking soda paste on his leg to make it feel better. Anyway, the day lost me. <laughs> here we are. It's so hot in here. I don't know if I can try everything on, but we'll see. It's so hot. I'm already sweating. I decided to use my wider lens today, very wise. These ones are Everlane jeans, they're dark wash. As per usual, I do like how they fit throughout. The only issue for these is the length. If you can see, they're kind of a weird length on me because they actually were a teeny bit shorter, but I let out this little bottom hem. So they're now about an inch longer, but they still hit that awkward length. Going through all my pants and then editing all of that and rewatching it a million times did reinforce many decisions. Um, and I'm trying to be strong here. What I like about these is the dark wash. I like this. They are really comfy. Again, I think they fit very well, but it's the length. Will I ever get over the length? Or alternatively, are these boots pants? Because they're, they're skinny enough at the ankle to where if I had to put them in boots, it would not be a nightmare. Winter jeans? I don't know, maybe. I think, as I said last time, these will be on my shit list and we'll see if I do in fact reach for them and they will be cut next time. These are another pair of Abercrombie, the mom high rise. I actually don't hate these. I love how I'm surprised as if I've never seen these pants before in my life. That's how far flung my collection is. These actually, <laughs> These now fit exactly like the study abroad jeans did at that time. So that's what I like about them. They are a teeny bit relaxed. I feel like <laughs> I'm definitely justifying keeping them. I'm like, yeah, I need these. No, I mean, again, right now they're extremely comfy, not too loose, not too tight. Got a teeny bit of room in the waist and I'm filming this at night so I've had a full day of food, I've had my dinner, which means that this is the best time to judge pants and be real about if they actually fit me through a full day or not. So we will be keeping these, thank you Abercrombie, into a pair of pants that will probably hurt my feelings. <sighs> wow, okay. You know the kind of jeans you literally have to like thrust your whole body into? That's the experience I just had with these, love that. As you can see, they do not fit comfortably. They button, but they're they're not wearable. <laughs> and they're actually so short, I forgot how short they are. I'm so used to cropped pants not actually being correctly cropped on me and I'm like, is this how it's supposed to be? My favorite thing about them, which is why I thrifted them years ago, like four years ago now, I do like the stripe. Uh, I think it's time to let these go. Just specifically like seeing the bottom of the pants and my little freaking purple socks right now. I'm like, um, that's so not, not a good look. And again, the fact that they're 
so freaking tight. Again, reminder, if I'm like, oh, I love black jeans or black jeans with a, a stripe on it, there will be other black jeans with stripes if I so desire. That's not a good reason to keep these. These are so uncomfortable, I can't even. Also, watching back last episode, and every time I do like a new review, seeing myself filmed full body in the way that I move, instant posture check. I know you can't just force your uh, posture to be good, but I'm seriously considering getting a posture coach or going to physical therapy. I don't know which option is right yet, but I literally want someone to teach me and like do stretches and exercises along with me to keep me accountable because my posture is atrocious. If I, okay, well now I'm getting into it. If I'm honest, this is how I stand most comfortably. I'm like, no wonder I thought I was shorter. I'm losing inches just by the way I'm standing. One of my best friends from childhood, I saw her a couple years ago and she was like, why do you look so short? And then I stood up and she's like, oh. <laughs> and I was like, we're like, we're like the same height. But she's like, you've shrunk. And I'm like, no, I just fall apart when standing. The worst thing is like, I literally will brush my teeth and bend over at the sink like this. And then I catch myself and I'm like, why? So anyway, stay tuned for the posture series. Let me know if you'd be interested in seeing that because I, I need the reminder. I would like to build up strength, back and neck muscles, I don't know. Okay, anyway, these are incredibly tight. That was my point. You can see. Okay, these are Levi's 725 High Rise Boot Cut. Another thread up pick, 99% of my pants, we know. These are really stretchy. They fit really great. The length is good. They're like folding up at the ends right now. But if I can fold the ends down, they're totally like the perfect boot cut length for me. And I really like these pants. Currently, pretty much perfect size right now. So that's nice. And I'm reminded I do have one more pair of black pants. These, it's funny because like now I'm like, what is a boot cut? Cause like to me, I look at the, I look in the mirror and I'm still like, mm, they seem a little tight. I know the point of a boot cut is like tight and then a little bit of flair for your boots. But um, again, I think in wearing so many wide pants recently, I look at these and I'm like, those are skinny jeans. They're not, okay. Whew. Yes, we will be keeping. Hooray, hurrah. I think that's it for pants. Thank God. But now there's shirts, and I really don't want to try on shirts right now because again, it's so incredibly hot, but I probably should. So I think I'm gonna put on a little tank top. Let's try <laughs> a bodysuit. Here's the thing about me. I keep buying bodysuits that are not snap closures, and then I get surprised that I don't want to wear them because I feel uncomfortable when I can't unsnap them. So I cut all my bodysuits and I was planning on sewing snaps onto them. I even have the snap somewhere, but I haven't done the craft project and that is classic. This particular bodysuit, a little bit tight, but it should be good for the purposes that we need right now. It's funny, like I even specifically washed my hair today because I was like, oh, I'm gonna be filming, but I kind of wish I hadn't and just had my hair in a bun still because having all this hair down right now and sticking to my neck is driving me mad. So then you see, you got a little cut bodysuit and you just go, bye bye <laughs> And then you hope that the little tail doesn't come back out at some point in the day. Yeah, this bodysuit is a little too small for me, but I like the neckline, so. <laughs> you know, fall and winter is coming soon, so it is a good time for me to go through my sweater collection and make some cuts. A lot of these I've had for many years, like five plus years, and it would be good to like get rid of the ones that are no longer serving me, such as potentially this one. I'm gonna ignore the white, white bodysuit. This outfit, ooh, tight on tight, ooh, sensory. This reminds me of middle school and high school because I feel like during the late 2000s, early 2010s, like tight on tight was totally a thing. But to me right now, this feels suffocating. I think I bought this sweater while I was studying abroad. Cute. But it's a little too cropped to be practical, um, especially in New York winters. Like if I'm wearing this, I need it to like not let a bunch of freezing cold air into my midsection. We've got to protect our core heat, you know? That's what they're always saying. Bye! I feel like I remember showing this in my last closet clean out, but this is just a sleep dress that my parents bought me for some reason a few Christmases ago. And it says, I get so many likes. Is this actually a like Peanuts Snoopy reference? Or is it just a modern catchphrase with 
this branding. I'll be honest, this is a very handy sleep dress to have, and I do like to wear it. <laughs> so let's go. By the way, new edition. Just today got my latest Haley Blay merch for Wisecrack. So I have another shirt, another shirt in my collection. Buying a friend's merch for their album release? Come on, you gotta do it. I hope I've been in focus. This is a thrifted Ann Taylor Loft sweater turtleneck that I chopped a few years ago. I already know I'm not gonna be into this right now. Here's the thing though. <laughs> I'm like, wait. Okay, so I did cut it very cropped, but I like it. Damn it. I like that the turtleneck itself is roomy. I hate to be choked by a turtleneck. And I feel like it is just a classic Christmas sweater for me. Is it something I'll actually reach for? That's another story. I would need like even higher waist pants or a different tank top or something underneath. But um, also think, can I do better? Maybe. I think this is where like old things start to feel nostalgic. Cause I'm like, I recently thought about some pieces that I like donated or sold a couple years ago. And I was like, shit, why did I get rid of that or that? And I hate that feeling of regret. Cause in the moment I'm like, oh no, I'm not into this anymore, bye. But then years later, I'm like, fuck. <laughs> I would have loved to still have that jacket. Like things come back in style or come back into your taste years later. And that's so hard. But the sweater, <laughs> I feel like I can say no. I feel like I can move on. One of the young people can take my legacy with this. I have this shirt. White long sleeve. I've worn it in some main channel videos at least like a couple years ago. Um, it says, I hate fancy dress parties. And I got it at a, I believe it was a specifically gay thrift store years ago in LA. That's so funny. That's just a hilarious way to describe it. It was a gay thrift store. It was likely out of the closet, one of their locations in LA. Most of their earnings go to providing HIV services. So they are wonderful. Love them. Yeah, I just, I just thought it was cute. I will admit, um, until I came to know the Brits, I did not know what it meant by fancy dress parties, as in dressing up in costume. <laughs> I was fully wearing the shirt, not 100% sold even on what it meant myself, just that I liked the idea. This is another one where I'm like, oh, I've had it for years. Should I keep it forever now? <laughs> just stare at it for like 10 minutes. I'll wash it, see how I feel when it's clean again. This one, this is a, I got this on thread up, Proenza Schooler. I just pronounced that in the weirdest way. This is a heavy sweater. It's a little crop sweater, but it's heavy. And I like how it feels, but I think that like the colors don't look that great on me. I don't know, now I'm liking it. Great. Great, indecisive. It's definitely a little more of a like statement sweater, so I, d I wouldn't reach for it every day. It is pretty cute. I was gonna say like, as you can probably see on camera, it's a very, very red red, and I don't really wear like bright red very often. Um, but again, in my mind, I'm like, any red sweater means Christmas. It means holiday season. <laughs> so it's fine, right? Yeah, I just really like the way it fits. Maybe I'll keep it. I don't even know if this one is safe in the wash. Dry clean only, don't do that. I think I'll keep it <laughs> one more season and then we'll see, we'll see. This one I'm already thinking is a no because I don't like the way that the fabric lays. Mm -mm. This looks horrible like this. I would usually wear it tucked in, probably fully tucked into something. Um, but it's just like a weird fit and it like bunches here. It's like for a sweater like this, I would either want it to be fully tight or baggier. But right now it's in that weird midpoint where there's just like a little too much fabric where I don't want it, but then the arms are still very tight. And I like browns, but I don't know if I'm fully sold on this color combination. So let's say no. This little shirt, this I did for sure get when I was studying abroad. I don't know if that other one actually was. But this, <laughs> this is a study abroad artifact. Hmm, how do we feel? I feel like even the arms are too short on me. I'm not gonna reach for this, ever. I'm not gonna be like, oh, where's that little cropped shirt? Yeah, I think it's the arms being too short that I can't really get past. It's a no. Had to put on my comfy wide leg jeans again because I'm like, I need, I need room right now. Then we have a BDG sweater. I like this one. It's roomy, it's comfy. 
Got the cool elbow patches. Ooh, let me try something. I got this on TikTok. Was this my first TikTok shop purchase? <laughs> Called a crop tuck. I got this many months back and haven't really used it. I hope I will during the winter. Basically, you can use it to <laughs> crop and tuck. There's a learning curve. I haven't quite figured out how to do it seamlessly. The whole point being like, oh, I can't tuck this big bulky sweater into my pants, but I want the look of more of a tucked sweater. How does it look? I can't even really see. Again, maybe the way I've done it isn't perfect, but overall, maybe this sweater is a teeny bit too big for this. A little too much bulk because it's all right here, but it's a nice option. I'll, I'll keep experimenting. We'll see. I don't know. I don't know if I'm fully sold on the crop tuck yet, but I already bought it. So actually it looks better when I'm closer up. My problem is my mirror right now. It's like a slanted standing mirror. And when it's against my wall, it can stand up more straight. But right now it's tilted at such a weird angle where I'm like, what do I look like? This is warping my perception. Anyway, I like the sweater. The sweater is a keeper. I am excited for sweater weather. Though today it was really hot and sunny actually. We just had a ton of rain in New York, if you saw the reports. Um, though it wasn't really flooding in my area, um, there were especially some parts of Brooklyn that were like literal rivers, which is very scary. I'm watching a lot of videos about climate change and how New York was literally built over streams and rivers and so that's one thing, obviously. Stealing the land from the natives and then covering the entire city in concrete. And now we're dealing with the ramifications of that, especially as climate change accelerates adverse weather events. So anyway, I'm like, <laughs> is this dry clean only or New York City is sinking? <laughs> Just continuing. But seriously, this has been one of my little uh, fixations this week, especially in terms of how it's related to the flooding, but it's like, there's just so many compounding problems that create these circumstances. Some man-made and some just uh, natural causes, mostly man-made, mostly man-made. Next up, <laughs> Jesus. Hey, it wouldn't be a little, a little chat with me unless we got into the real nitty gritty and that involves climate change. So this is a vintage dress. I obviously wouldn't wear it like this but I don't think I wanna take my jeans off. I got this from my best friend McKenna years ago. I always just love a 90s kindergarten teacher kind of aesthetic, and that's where these kind of dresses come in for me. I really don't wanna button it all the way. Oh no, oh okay. I was like, there used to be ties. Imagine that, like a little cinched at the waist and actually closed like a dress. Um, Again, this is another item where I'm like, would I reach for it right now? Actually, maybe. I do love a dress. I love a summer dress. I love a little breezy midi or maxi dress. It's actually a little scratchy. It definitely needs a slip underneath it. <laughs> but again, out of nostalgia, I might have to keep this one. You know, like, okay, if you borrow or get something from, not borrow, if you get an item from a friend or family and then years down the line, you're going through your closet and deciding whether to keep it or get rid of it. Do you reach back out to that person and go like, hey, I have this thing that you gave me like years ago. Do you want it? Cause I'm gonna get rid of it. I just did that with my sister the other day, but um, I think it's a good move, but it might just be funny cause they'd be like, no, I gave that away to you literally years ago and I don't want it back. But I think it's a nice gesture, at least to be like, hey, remember this? You want it back in the rotation? This is a little uh, lingerie sleep dress. I don't wear these often because like they're really not the most comfortable option for sleepwear. So I also have this little little robe, <laughs> which like similarly, this is very cheap. I've had this for years. So it's not even like a really good fabric. But every time I'm thinking of getting rid of it, I'm like, oh, but what if I want to slink around in a little robe? Do I ever do that? No, but what if my habits change? <laughs> or what if I just wear it as a shirt? Very like early 2000s. Wearing something absolutely nonsensical, but like if you wear it confidently enough, people don't really ask questions. That's how I feel. I should get rid of this. I should. Obligatory college sweatshirt, little college hoodie. I'm a CUNY grad, Hunter. I considered going back to grad school recently. I spent a whole day researching programs. At first starting at like top grad schools, I was like, oh my God, should I go be ambitious and do something wild? But then I'm like, no, you don't have like, again, this whole idea of like prestigious schools, like, is it just for my ego? Yes, primarily. Cause I assume even if I went to grad school, like I, I hopefully would use my degree. It would inform my life in some way. All I'm saying is 
I'm, I'm hopefully gonna continue being a YouTuber slash self-employed media person. So like, I don't need a master's degree by any means. So it would purely be a an educational and hopefully just like a fulfilling journey for me. So anyway, I started out like, oh, I wanna go to a prestigious school. And then I looked at those prices and I'm like, actually, fuck no. <laughs> actually shouldn't do that, should not do that. And then I was like, oh, maybe I'll go to a state school. Maybe I'll go to like a SUNY or go back to a CUNY. And that could be a possibility someday. Since I just moved back to the state, I have to wait another year before I'm gonna be considered an in-state resident again. So that put a pause on my plans. And even that, like a SUNY or CUNY for grad school can still be pretty pricey. Relatively less expensive, but it's thousands of dollars per semester. And then finally I was like, you know what? Do I even want a grad degree or do I just wanna take a handful of classes? And I was like, I should go to community college. I should just take like non-degree courses. I could do like art classes, history, sociology. I made a whole list. I registered at a local community college. Um, I have not signed up for any classes, <laughs> but I'm thinking about it. We'll see. So anyway, sweatshirt. This is like a very boring fucking college sweatshirt though. Again, thinking about uh, my future children and the future potentially. This isn't even like a cool vintage sweatshirt that they could have someday. They'd be like, oh, thanks for the most basic ass sweatshirt I've ever seen in my life. And I'd be like, yeah, it was a minimalist time. But these school colors were like purple and that wasn't a color I was interested in either. So I was like, okay, we'll go black and white. That's, that's fine. All right, let's get this out of the way. Renaissance festival costume, of course. Of course. I love a Renaissance festival. Years and years ago, I met Ali and AJ at a Renaissance fair in, I believe, 2013. And that was amazing. That was kind of before I got into their new music, but in recent years, I've become a huge fan of their later stuff. And I love them. So now every time I think of a Renaissance fair, I think Ali and AJ, my girlies. So yeah, I got this recently. <laughs> I've only worn it to one Renaissance fair. And honestly, every girl at the Renaissance fair has this. I bought it on Etsy. I was really trying to not just buy like the Amazon thing. Like I was like, oh, like I want something. But I was also like, I can't pay the true artisan like handmade cost. I was like, I'm not really willing to spend like $500 on my Renaissance Fair outfit at the moment. So I got this one. And yes, every girl has it in many different colors, but I will say it's a cute ass outfit. I really like it. And I hope I have many chances to wear these to future fairs. I think Renaissance fairs are really interesting because like as adults, we really don't get that many opportunities to like dress up and get into character aside from like Halloween, which I haven't participated in Halloween. I haven't like dressed up in a good costume in so many years. And that makes me really sad because I used to be very into wearing the funkiest, funniest thing I could think of. And yeah, it's funny, like I wasn't a theater kid, but I feel like I should have been. I was a YouTuber, so equal, equal footing. I just, I spent my hours alone making videos instead of going to practice for the play. But I feel like Renaissance fairs are definitely a little bit of theater kid energy just like for anyone who has a craving, a hankering to be able to perform, to, to get in character, to be silly, to dress up. And I think that we should all get more opportunities to do that or take advantage of more opportunities because life is short. Jesus, live it up. Get a costume and walk around. Next up, less interesting, a Zara turtleneck that I literally cut the neck off of because it was choking me, as we know. This was also a study abroad semester purchase. Am I a loser? <laughs> Am I a loser for the fact that I vividly remember every single article of clothing that I bought during a five month period of my life over five years ago? Don't tell me the truth, okay? God, it's still tight on the neck. Leave me alone. Let me live. And by live, I mean breathe. But it kind of slays. Actually on camera, I can't tell if I just look like do I look like I'm about to pull off a heist? All I need is a little black beanie. I do like it. You know what? I'm a big fan of the little lettuce hem. I think that's cute as shit. I don't know. The neck's not that bad. I feel like for most <laughs> turtlenecks I have, I just like yank at the neck a little and then it's fine. And for this one, I think I like to tuck it down a little bit. And that's that. Really what I want is a nice forgiving mock neck. Do I have enough turtlenecks? Yes. Do I still wanna keep this one? Yes. Oh yeah, my point about that was I so badly underpacked for my semester abroad. I literally just watched the minimalism like documentary <laughs> right before leaving. And I was like, I'm just gonna bring the basics. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go light. 
get there, realize I am underprepared. It was so much colder than I thought, so I didn't even have the right jackets or layers. Um, and then I looked at the clothes I brought and I was like, I don't even really have many outfits. What did I bring? So then I ended up having to go to like Monopri and there was a Zara in town and I had to do quite a bit of shopping. So there's that. But then, yeah, look at me, years, years later, I've still got them, all my little, my little collectibles. I think there is genuinely something so wonderful about having clothing that you've had for years and that you've actually worn and enjoyed for years. Like, obviously that's such a, a great thing. This is a newer addition to my closet. This is a BP sweater from ThreadUp. I feel like within the last year, it's very soft. Very soft, very cozy. You know what? It's an opportunity. Another opportunity for the, I'm not giving free promo. This is not a TikTok shop. Come on. From the unnamed cropping device. So let's try this one because it's not as bulky as the other sweater. Look at that, it's as simple as you just tuck it up under, where the fuck is it? <laughs> you tuck it up under the little strap. Hi, Hi. Don't mind me just trying on all my clothes. Good for you. It is good for me. Okay, that's cuter. Again, ignore the stark white bodysuit underneath, but look at this. I think that's cute. I think that's a cute way to crop it. I think it makes this sweater even better and more wearable. But I like this one because, again, very generous, spacious neck. <laughs> we love that. And I love the color. It apparently is in my soft, soft whatever the fuck, um, soft summer palette. A little muted color, but yeah, it's just a very like cute, cute. <laughs> yeah, I actually really like it cropped. Okay, okay. Now I'm excited. I'm going to be tucking and cropping all of my things. And it's so easy. It's not even a clumsy thing to put on or off. See again, before, after, Ooh, boring. Oh, you you just let your sweaters be the length they are? <laughs> you don't wanna wear like an elastic strap around your waist, under your clothes? Hmm, interesting. Machine wash cold. Thank you. I love checking the laundry tags, even though 99% of the time I'm like, yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna throw you in the, in the machine. It's fine. This little one is an Elizabeth and James little sheer top. Hmm, okay, okay. I mean, in a black and white ensemble, it is a bit of a look. I do like it. I like it more than I remembered. I got this because I wanted a sheer, like lightweight shirt to throw over um, and just keep open for like summer, whatever, hot weather. I would like it a lot more if it were white. I think the black just doesn't go as much with what I'd want to wear in hotter months. I'm like, what about a little a little half tuck? Is that ugly? Yeah. It works if you see any stray fucking weird marks on it that is probably sunblock because yes, this thing unfortunately captures sunblock in a really marvelous way. So is that a fucking stain or no, that's the tag. Okay, I was like, oof. It's not a bad shirt. It's not bad. Okay, next up we have this cozy earth little pajama top. I was gifted this pajama set, which honestly, it kind of slays as a, as a, as a shirt. <laughs> Fuck. Anytime I try to use lingo, I sound stupid. I realize that. I blame Sheridan. Sheridan has firmly implanted slay into my brain. Yeah, I'm like, why, don't, why do I love this as a regular shirt? It's cute. I know people don't like when people wear pajama shirts as tops, but like, why not? I used to wear one. I had a white short sleeve one that I wore fully as a shirt all the time. I do have the pants somewhere. Okay, cute. See, I'm not really getting rid of a lot of things. Oops, oops, oops. This shouldn't really count because it's a dress. It's a cute dress. It's just very small, I already know. It's a little zip up, a little sweetheart neckline, a little, is it meant to be like off the shoulder? It's also pretty short, I believe it is. It's Urban Outfitters, yeah. I like it, I really like the neck, the, the, I'm so tired. I like the neckline, I like the puffy kind of sleeves, but I think I've only worn it like once or twice. I don't think it fits me right now, and I don't need it. This little Henley, I don't even wanna try it on. I'm sure it's fine, but this to me, I've recently been learning about um, the difference between getting dressed and wearing an outfit. And to me, this, I can put this on and I'm getting dressed. Sure, it's a shirt, it's a shirt. But is this gonna be part of 
an outfit that I want to wear? No. This same color as the, the bluish green jeans, maybe that's why it's a similar vibe to me. I'm like, this color is just not what I want. And I love blues and I love greens, but for some reason, these two items, not feeling it. I think I will have to say goodbye. I love a wrap top. But also putting on a wrap top is such a, it's like fully, fully undone. What if I just wore it like this? Kind of nice, kind of good, kind of good. See, like, I don't even want to tie it fully. Imagine, imagine that. Again, it's a shirt. I could get dressed, <laughs> but is it something that I'm going to reach for? Is it going to really serve a good purpose? I do like this color on me. I will acknowledge I like this color on me. Cute. But is this also the kind of shirt that I'm gonna just sweat through immediately? <laughs> Probably, maybe it's a no. I also get scared like with these long ass tangly tentacles. I always get scared they're gonna get so wrapped up in the wash and just like destroy the shirt. All right, rapid fire, I say in the slowest voice ever because I'm so over it. This is a little Zara turtleneck that I literally cut the neck open. <laughs> it looks so funny like that. I think I've been like tucking it in? Again, I own so many turtlenecks. Why would I keep these that are like half destroyed or falling apart? It's nothing special. It's a gray turtleneck. I should get rid of it and I will probably have to throw it or use it for scrap material because I don't think anyone else is going to want a turtleneck that's neck has been sliced. Another wrap top that has a lot going on. This is anthropology. Miss Sheridan gave this to me. I've worn it at least in a video or two. I do like the color on me. I don't know if I love like the whole fit of it and I am too lazy to tie it up right now, but I feel like it's a good blouse for like when I need a blouse because I don't really own, <laughs> I don't own any blouses. I think I'm saving a lot of these decisions until these have been washed then it's gonna be real. I'm gonna be going to put things away and I'm gonna go, you know what, goodbye. This fucking shirt, this is a, I don't even know what brand that is. Probably H&M or something. I have inexplicably owned this navy and maroon burgundy three quarter sleeve baseball tee <laughs> for how many years? Why do I still own this? And at a point it feels like a competition with myself. I'm just betting my, my future self won't be strong enough to get rid of it. Obviously I just wear this as like a fully just comfy, like random around the house shirt, but I'm like, why do I have, I kept this. I kept this for a reason. I should get rid of it. Wow. They're like, wow, you would do that after all these years. I really mean so little to you. Wow, true colors. Then we've got this little gray shirt. Just showing off my shirt in the best way. Put it on? No, why would I do that? You know what? It's a good shirt. It has a purpose. It does. This is a little wrap dress from Brandy Melville. I've had this for years. Again, I don't even know if I like it because it's like a little too close to my skin color. There's not enough contrast. I trade. Mercifully, my camera battery died and it was about time to shut up. So stay tuned for the next episode. I think I definitely, at least after this, need to go through my shoe collection and my jackets, my coats. There's unfortunately more to come.